Welcome to this stateless codecast. This is our section on installs and setups and configuration. And in this video, we will be installing the Salesforce command line interface and setting up the, uh, the Salesforce DX plugins for VS Code. So I'm going to go down, and in this case, we're going to, to use the, the NPM version of installing the Salesforce CLI. Execute that command. Pause while this downloads and configures. So this appears to have installed successfully. Uh, a note on my configuration of Node before this, so I had used uh, NVM. in order to, to install Node. Uh, so that allows you to kind of configure and control your version of Node, and it makes it easier to install global packages and the like without having to worry about the, the error no access issues that can come along with that. So we should be able to verify the installation now. seems to have been successful. Now go into VS Code. I believe it is the Salesforce extension pack that we want to do here. Yes, it includes the CLI integration and everything. So we'll install that. Pause again while we do that. And it doesn't say there's a reload required, but I will close and reopen VS Code just to validate. So we've got the Apex Aura Components ES Lint and everything set up. So we've got our Salesforce development and VS Code extensions installed here. The other thing we're going to do is we're going to set up the Lightning Web Components local environment. So we will execute the item to install the Lightning Web Components development server. Pause while this finishes up. And we seem to have been successful here. Next thing we'll do is we will go to a So we've created a directory structure here, and we will clone the LWC recipes. All right, we'll do it 
https WC recipes section here comes with a force app directory. We can open this in VS Code now. And we'll have examples here. about your web components. So we've successfully authenticated here. Scratch org. This will take a moment. We'll pause. And scratch org create was successful. So now we should be able to start the server. Thirty-three, thirty-three, and we've got access to our local development server. The other thing we're going to do is we're going to go and make sure that we have Java installed and set up so that we can use the Apex language services within the Salesforce extension pack. So note here if I Java version uh, on this particular machine, I don't have it installed yet. And so it gives you inf information on installing the, the JRE. I'm gonna want the, the JDK instead of the JRE, which it'll come with the JRE. So uh, we'll sudo apt install and this is a bit of download so we'll pause this and that actually installed pretty quickly even though it was 400 something megabytes it installed in about a minute so now Got a version for both the Java and the Java compiler. So that's where our Java executable is, but when we're setting our library we don't want the executable necessarily we want the the home of 
of that. So we can see here it says that you want the path name to your Java runtime, not the executable itself. Java here, user bin Java, is probably a symlink. Which is itself also a symlink. So this is where our Java home is really. Forgot to do Control Shift C. This is where all of our binaries are. If we go here, we can see that this is where kind of the main home directory is for this. And using this Mac version here, I'll try to zoom in on it. So the example here shows the home and not the binary. So we will try that. So it'll be this part here without the bin. And they don't have the trailing slash there. So we'll try to configure it that way. Go into our preferences settings save that and then Closing and reopening VS Code. All right, so we've got our Java home here. Have some Apex. We can use an example. We're not showing any problems. So it's not it's not complaining, so I think we're in good shape and we'll be able to now uh, develop both with Lightning Web Components using the local server that we installed and now uh, Apex as well for our server-side Salesforce development. Thanks for watching this Stateless Codecast. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and spread the word. You can follow us on social media at Stateless Code. Until next time, keep coding and don't aggress against peaceful people or vote for others to do so on your behalf.